So I was, I was talking to the moon the other night. Graham <laughs> <laughs> was awkward. You know, because I've known him for a really long time, for most of my life, but recently we've, we've drifted apart, we move in different circles, and... <laughs> but I still wanted to keep this relationship going, because he's, you know, he's a good mate, he's a friend of my mum's, and... <laughs> And we used to really get on, so I was making small talk, I was forcing it a little bit, and I said, you alright, mate? What are you making way up to? What's been going on? And he, and I'll never forget this, he said, he said, the other night I was looming along the Cornish coastline, pulling the tide with my gravitational arm. <laughs> and as I drifted, I saw down on the shore a group of weary cockle pickers. I knew at once from their hollow eyes and their gaunt faces and their faded, fake sportswear that, <laughs> that these people were, were immigrants. They were illegal aliens. People that had come to this country, smuggled in lorries and tunnels under the ocean to work and not to, not to learn the language or to integrate, but instead to sit little parasitic bubbles, feeding off the state, <laughs> and secretly hating the country that had given them everything. <laughs> and as I looked down at them, I felt angry. He said, he said, I'm not a racist, but I just, I love this country and I hate to see it go to pot. And, and normally there's nothing I can do about something like that, but I saw in this single unique instance something I could do. And what I did was, I, I grabbed the tide by the scruff of its foamy neck and, and I threw it up the beach as hard as I could. And the men and the women, they tried to get away, but they were tired. And they fell and they drowned. And they're dead. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad. And I was speechless. I'm ashamed to say I didn't confront him. I, I just left. I, I just went and I, and I sat on the night bus with my head in my hands. And I thought about how long I'd known him. And I thought about when I was a little boy and I was scared of the dark and I was crying. And my mum came into my room and she opened the curtain, a tiny little crack. And this single shaft of moonlight came through and it lit up the room and it was magical and suddenly I felt so safe and full of love and, and she said, don't worry, as long as he's here, nothing's going to hurt you, you're safe. And, and here I was, you know, 15 years later, and, and that person had said the most appalling thing I'd ever heard, with no remorse. And, and I, I, I've had a lot of time to think about it. And what I've come to realise is that what I saw that night was, was the dark side of the moon. <laughs>